Hey guys, good morning. It's Mr. Myesis, and I'm here coming from my humble abode, um, <laughs> bringing you a video on differentiating logarithmic functions. So I encourage you, if you haven't uh, had a chance to, go check out my video on logarithmic properties. Uh, we use a lot of logarithmic properties, especially when we're uh, condensing or um, or expanding the logarithm, so that we can uh, take the derivative a little easier. And we'll do a lot of the um, condensing. Uh, actually, we'll do the expanding when we're doing some antiderivatives, I believe, and then some condensing when we're doing derivatives. So I'll, I'm going to go over a few examples of just using um, the differentiation formulas for logarithms here. And I have them here on the on the screen. Um, you'll need to at least memorize these two. Come on, pen. These two right here. And these guys are just the chain rule formulas. So you just got to remember that, you know, you do the derivative of the inside, right? So you do the derivative of the whole thing, and then you multiply it by the derivative of the inside. So I'm going to show you some examples of using all of those. And um, I think this one right here is by far probably the most important. It's just that you know that the derivative L of ln x is 1 over x. So let's take a look. Um, I'll zoom in here. All right. So let's differentiate y equals ln of 5x. So the derivative of this one here is 1 over 5x times 5. This is the derivative of the inside, right? So we get 1 over x. And if you hear my kids yelling in the background, that's because I'm at home, and that's what they do. They yell in the background. So uh, here is the next one. So what's the derivative of f prime of t? Well, this is ln. I should have put a parenthesis there. It makes it a little easier. 1 over 3t squared minus t so it's 1 over the inside times the derivative of the inside which is 6t minus 1 and we can leave it like that all right and that's pretty much it. just make sure that you realize that this multiplication you know it's really on the on the um on the numerator so if you want to do it all at one shot using that formula that i told you before it's the derivative of the inside divided by what's inside that's pretty much it all right let's take a look at the next one here this one's a product rule because you have an x times an ln x. So we're going to go ahead and use the product rule. The derivative of the first times the second. So we just have ln x, right, times 1, plus the first times the derivative of the second, which is 1 over x. And, of course, we don't need to simplify that. But if we wanted to, because I know some of you are out there and you're like, I want to simplify it. So I just can't handle it not simplified. We can see it like that. Okay, so those are a few examples of just using the differentiation formulas. Um, so I'll be right back here and I'll show you some other ones. Back. Okay, so one thing you need to keep in mind with uh, differentiating logarithms is that when we have the absolute value, the logarithm of an absolute value, it's not going to change how we do the derivative at all. <clears throat> and most of that has to do with the, the domain of um, the logarithm function and um, its differentiability. So Although it might change the value of the domain of the function and it might change the values that we have, it's not going to change the derivative at all. So remember just here, remember this piece of information is that the derivative of the ln of an absolute value is just the derivative of ln of x. So it's the same thing. We don't have to put the absolute value in there. So let's take a look at an example. So let's take the derivative here of ln of absolute value of 5 minus 2y cubed. And again, it's the same thing as we did before. So we're going to do um, the derivative of the inside, which is negative 6y squared, divided by what's inside, 5 minus 2y cubed. And I, again, I just used the chain rule there. Um, I did it kind of all at once, like I told you before. It's all good. All right. All right, let's take a look at this one. Whoa. So all kinds of stuff going on with this one. So uh, do you really want to take the derivative of that inside stuff? You've got you've got a product rule here, and you've got a chain rule here, and you've got a, a, a quotient rule there, and uh, my goodness, that'll take you a while. So this is an example where we'd want to separate it out and expand this guy so that it's easier to take the derivatives separately rather than try to take the derivative all at once. So I'm going to use some um, I'm going to use some uh, logarithm properties here and expand this guy out. So we're going to get ln, y equals ln of x plus, this is a power, one half, right? One half power, ln of 2x plus 1 minus 
ln of x squared plus one. So I just used the, my logarithm properties to expand this out. Um, and now I'm gonna take the logarithm of each of these separately. Logarithm, I meant, I'm gonna take the derivative of each of them separately. Okay, so ln of x is one over x. Uh, we got one half times the derivative of the inside over the inside minus the derivative of the inside over the inside. And we got it. That's it. All right, so there's our derivative. All right, let's take a look at one last example here. All right, if y equals log base 2 of x squared plus 1, let me put that in parentheses, find y prime of 2. Okay, so first we need to find the derivative. So let's go ahead and do that. And we're going to have the derivative of the inside over the inside. But this is a log base 2, so we've got to divide it by... We've got to multiply it by 1 over ln of 2. So anytime we have a different log base, we've got to remember that we need to divide it by ln 2, or multiply 1 over ln of whatever this base is right here, okay? Okay, and so now we've got that, so we're going to go ahead and plug in our 2. 2 squared plus 1 times ln 2, and we're going to call it good. All right, good to go. If you want to leave it like that, you can. Um, remember, there's no need to simplify in this case, but if you want to simplify, you're maybe watching this video for a college course. Let me go ahead and simplify that for you. We're going to get 4 over 5 ln 2. Bam, done. All right, there you go, guys. Differentiating logarithmic functions. Catch you later.